Hey everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Class Action Mega Park. In the previous episode, I worked on this uh, entrance building for the park, and I did this uh, section of the parking lot. And after that, uh, off camera, I continued on building for a while, and I also completed the second section of the parking lot. Oh, I did actually get some comments that people also wanted uh, to watch me build the second section of the parking lot, but uh, yeah, it was only a few people. I think most uh, most of you will just would just like to continue on in the park. Uh, and the, in this episode, I have some really exciting uh, things to to build. Well, first off, um, well, this is not the complete entrance, uh, obviously. This is just the part where the tickets are bought. After that, we'll uh, need a little gate where the guest uh, tickets are getting checked. And after that's built, uh, I want to work on a little, uh, sort of like a main street area um, and the park's first coaster. So yeah, I'm already uh, starting on the first coaster quite quickly and just like in uh, my previous uh, RC2 Mega Park, uh, I'm gonna start with a wooden coaster. Anyway, uh, first off it's time to continue on with this uh, entrance area. Okay, this will be uh, one of my typical uh, entrance check buildings. So I will display some of these pods, I will freeze some entertainers on top. Now usually I use security guards here, but I think for this park it will be uh, more fun to just have uh, sheriffs checking the guest tickets. Alright, I put uh, four sh sheriffs here to check the guest tickets, although one of them is in an elephant costume because uh, his sheriff costume is still in laundry. Um, anyway, um, I don't want to just add some gardens here, so uh, I will add uh, a building or two in this section. Maybe just uh, a souvenir shop and probably a toilet building would also uh, fit here in this area uh, in between where the guests buy their tickets and the actual ticket check. Now for the building style, uh, I think I will just use uh, some, yeah, I, li I really like this color of green. I think it uh, will mix really well with, uh, co with other light colors like white, but also this color of, uh, of uh, brown. So I think uh, I will mostly use those colors uh, together here. I think they will go together uh, pretty well. Alright, I've now built a little toilets building and an information uh, building as well, where I've uh, put several of these uh, information kiosks. So this uh, area is uh, slowly getting underway. 
And um, yeah, what I still want to build here is a little souvenir shop, uh, mostly for the guests who are uh, leaving the park. Okay, and I've made a little souvenir shop here in the corner. Now, uh, what will often make your uh, buildings look nicer is if you add a little bit of uh, depth to them. So, that's why it's always a nice idea to put stuff like awnings uh, in front of them. Just to, uh, yeah, make them look uh, less uh, blocky. Uh, well, these buildings obviously do look a little bit uh, blocky. Not much depth to these buildings, but... Uh, I think together with these buildings behind them, it uh, will make for a nice uh, section here. Okay, I'm just going to uh, finish up this uh, this little part over here. Probably just going to put some fences and gardens here, stuff like that. Because I think uh, we already have uh, enough uh, buildings here. Okay, and uh, when that is done, uh, I will extend the path that goes over here. And then uh, I can start working on the first coaster of the park. Sometimes when you're building a park um, and you put too many objects on the same tile, sometimes you will experience some clipping like you can see over here uh, with this uh, information kiosk. Now I've actually tried moving it uh, up and down in the order in the tile inspector, but I do not really see any change happening. And usually when you put uh, a track piece like an information kiosk all the way to the top, at some point it will uh, just go behind everything. But uh, over right now here it doesn't seem to happen. Um, yeah, one easy fix for this is uh, just to hide it. <laughs> Let's just put a little tree in front. There we go. Okay, over here will be the sort of like the main street area. So I'll uh, again I will just build uh, s several. Um, shops and stalls, mostly food and drink uh, stalls, stuff like that. And I also wanted to have the first coaster here. Now, um, I don't want this episode to, uh, to fully be me uh, building uh, shops and uh, buildings. So uh, for here, for now here, I will just build the outline of the buildings and then I will start on the first roller coaster. Okay, I've just made some outlines here for buildings. So these will be shops and stalls. And I actually want this to be the station for the new coaster. So I uh, guess we'll uh, simply enter one of these buildings and inside the building they can uh, uh, queue up and then enter the ride. I think it will be fun uh, having one of these buildings uh, disguised as the, as the station for this, uh, for this new ride. Now you might be wondering <laughs> what the hell I'm doing here. 
Well, uh, when I said this was a park full of dangerous rides, uh, <laughs> let's just say I was not joking. Alright, um, I've gotten the layout to a point where I want to cross over to the other side again. Uh, I don't want to make another path crossing, I think one is uh, enough. So I'm just going to make a tunnel under this path here and then uh, yeah, find a way back to the station of the coaster. Alright, I'm uh, really happy with the layout of this uh, coaster. It, uh, yeah, it has a nice speed throughout all these elements. First, there's this nice track crossing. And at the end, I also managed to fit in a water splash. Now, and this uh, water splash will also be the transfer track of this uh, coaster. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to uh, add a little uh, switch track here uh, to be able to uh, store the coaster cars in, this, uh, in one of these buildings here. Alright, I just placed some fences here uh, next to the coaster just to make the park a little bit safer and uh, we wouldn't want anybody to uh, to get hurt on their visit here. So yeah, also I uh, did some extra supports around the coaster, also did a little bit of landscaping. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to uh, finish some work here on these fences because uh, where these fences are the supports for the coaster actually don't get drawn. So that's an issue we have to resolve now, but uh, we can do that with a little bit of tile inspector magic. So when that's done, uh, I will finally start on the station of the coaster. So uh, yeah, let's get on with it.
right, and with that, uh, I think our first coaster is mostly completed. Now, uh, I might still uh, add some footers uh, around the coaster under the support, but that uh, will be something I will do uh, off camera. Still, uh, I think uh, for most of it, uh, this coaster is, uh, is pretty nice. It's a pretty cool uh, layout, and of course, it has this <laughs> crazy uh, path crossing. Um, yeah, very safe. Um, it's got a reward for safest uh, park, so uh, that's really nice. Um, Alright, with that out of the way, um, I think it's time to add another patron to the park. Well, the first patron, actually. So, uh, let's select an entertainer. And let's give it the entertainer uh, patrol area here. And the first entertainer will be my lovely girlfriend, uh, Amy. She is also supporting me on Patreon, so uh, I think she deserves uh, a spot in the park and she loves fountains. So that's why I'll be uh, putting her right next to this uh, beautiful fountain here. Okay, with that out of the way, um, yeah, that will be the end of this episode. For the rest of this episode, um, I think it will be fun to follow this coaster through one circuit of its uh, track. Alright, hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later!